Hi guys, I'm Stefan, the guy moving the mouse around in the videos here on WP Explainer. In this video, you will learn how to create a chart theme for your theme to safely make edits and add functionality to your theme. Now before we begin, let's just have a quick introduction about why child themes are so important. The main reason to create a child theme is to make your changes to the theme permanent. If you don't know this already, it's very important not to make changes to your theme files because when you update the theme, those changes will be overwritten and therefore lost. So that's the reason we create a child theme. Then it doesn't matter how much you update your theme, the changes in the child theme will stay untouched. Another reason you will need a child theme is for example, every time you read online, that you need to add something to your functions.php file. That file will be located in your child theme. If you're in doubt about whether you actually need a child theme to make the changes you want, then check out my other video regarding just that by clicking the link in the top right corner right now. Before we begin creating your child theme, then bear in mind that if you're using a premium WordPress theme, chances are that they've already created a child theme for you to use. Take a look at the theme files. If you download all theme files and documentation from, for example, ThemeForest, then usually there is a child theme in there in form of a zip file. Then you can simply upload that zip file under appearance, themes and activate it. But sometimes you will have to create a child theme from scratch. So we will go through how to create that right now. So here I simply have a normal WordPress installation. And you can see here under appearance themes that I have the 2020 theme activated. So I want to create a child theme for the 2020 theme. And um, you can see here on this other tab that this is just plainly how it looks when you just installed it from scratch. So to create a child theme, you need access to the FTP of your server where WordPress is installed. And uh, then you need to locate the WP content folder and in that the themes folder. And if you don't have 2020 or your theme folder in your local hard drive, then I suggest you download it so you have it lying there. You can see on my right side here, I have my actual server where you can see there's a lot more files in here, plugins and all. But um, if you don't have your theme lying uh, on your local PC, then just download it to that right away. Now I'm using a program called PHP Storm to edit my websites, which is a paid program but you can easily find free programs, for example, Notepad++ for Windows or Sublime Text for both Windows and Mac. But uh, to create our child theme, we will create a new folder within the themes folder. And um, you can name this, for example, many want to name it the theme name and then dash child. But uh, this is actually not necessary. You can also just name it the company name of either your company or your client's company name if you're making this for a client. So uh, for this example, I'll just name this company name. I'll press OK. You can see we now have a folder within, within our themes folder. And in this folder, we will create another file called style.css and I'll just open that here and um, the first thing we want to do is paste in some content in the style.css file and we will actually take that from the parent theme or the original theme so we'll open up that folder go to style.css and uh, yeah you can see that I've actually already mark this so uh, I will copy this and I will paste that into my child themes style.css file. 
Now, some of the things here we can actually just delete. Uh, I don't need this text right here. Um, we can also delete some other things if you don't just want to clear things up a bit. Uh, but the important one is the theme name, the text domain, and uh, we actually need to add another one as well. So just make a new line and write template colon and then we will use that same name as the text domain 2020 because that is the name of the folder of the parent theme. So uh, this is very important. The child theme knows where the parent theme is and this is the template here is what tells it that. The text domain is also important, but that's more regarding language files, so definitely keep that as well. Now you can also personalize this as much as you want. You can change the theme name to your company's name. Uh, the author, well, the author of the parent theme is the WordPress team, but of course the author of this child theme is you. So you can just write your own company name here if you want, and you can also add the author URI, the URL. You can also just write your own website here if you want. Okay, so uh, now we've actually just done what we need to do in the style.css file. So uh, we just want to add another one, and that is called functions dot PHP. Okay, and in this file, we will need to make sure that it's loading our style.css file. And I will paste that in right here. And uh, you can find this uh, code in the link in the description. And um, just to explain this code, uh, the first one here is adding the parent themes style.css file. And then the second one, you can see it's called st child style. That loads the child themes style.css file. And um, this part I think is really important because uh, this makes a version number for your child.css file. And it just makes sure that you're not having any caching issues when you're updating your child uh, theme and making changes to that sometimes you won't see a changes because of browser caching, but uh, this part will actually avoid that. So uh, I think that's a really nice thing to have. And the, the last uh, add action simply um, runs this function, so it uh, makes this thing work. Okay, so now we actually just have the two files, and this is enough to have a child theme working. So I will go ahead and upload this now to uh, the website and I should be able to see the child theme now uh, if I go into themes right here. So I'll just refresh. I just want to give you a small advice before you activate your child theme. Go ahead and export your theme settings as a backup because sometimes the theme settings won't transfer from your theme to your child theme in which case a backup will be a saving grace. And here you can see we have our child theme, it's called company name, because we just wrote that in our style.css file. You can see if we open it up, it's also saying our company name, and if we click it, we, go, we will go to our website. And uh, WordPress is kind enough to tell us that this is a child theme of 2020. So uh, that's really good. And um, we can go ahead and activate that now. And um, we just need to test it. And uh, chances are it's not working properly uh, the first time. But uh, I'll just refresh here. And it seems to be working. But uh, we need to go ahead and check the uh, source code. So uh, depending on which browser you're on, you have to find a place called View Page Source. So uh, I'll just open that up. And here it's important that you search for style.css. And um, in this case, you can see we have three results. And um, that's not ideal. We actually only typically need two results. One that is the parent style 
and one that is the child style. And uh, you can see the first one here is our child style actually, and it has an ID of 2020 style. And then we have the two next, which is the parent style and the child style, which are the ones I've added in my functions.php file. And these are all the way down here at the bottom, and they have the right order, 2020 is first, and our child theme is second, meaning that when we put changes into our child theme, they will override what is in the parent theme. But we don't want an extra style being up here, so we can go ahead and remove that. And uh, that's actually pretty easy. We will just copy this part right here. We don't need the dash CSS. So I will copy that. I will go back to my functions file. And then underneath this curly bracket here, I will add a WP DQ style instead of NQ, which will remove that um, style. Like this. So uh, this is the proper way to remove a style. So I'll just upload this to my child theme and go back again and reload this code. Search again for style.css and now you can see we just have two results and those are down here 2020 style company name style okay so uh, if we go to this page refresh it does work as intended okay so uh, i'll just close this code down and i will go back to our themes and um, one last trick I want to show you is that you can actually upload your own image right here on the child theme. And you simply do that by uploading a PNG, which is 880 times 660 pixels. And you simply put that into your child theme folder. And uh, you can do that by yeah, simply pasting that in. I just have a image pasted in right here. You can see I'm adding the screenshot.png within the child theme folder. I'll just upload that and uh, now it should be visible yeah, right here on the themes page. So that's it really. You have a functioning child theme for the 2020 theme. I'll make sure to add a link to download that in the description. But if you want to add a bit more files to your child theme, then just hang around and we'll just try and add that as well. So we'll go to our child theme again. And uh, we can also add folders, for example, if we want to make things neat and tidy. In this example, I want to add a JavaScript file. So I'll just put that in a folder called JS. And then within that folder, I'll just add a file, I can call it custom script.js. Okay. And uh, I'm not really gonna add anything right now, but uh, this is how you, I just want to show you how to add it. And um, it's not really loading yet, it's just located now in the child theme. So to make it work as well, we need to add a bit of code to our functions.php file. So I'll just open that again, and I'll paste in a code for that. And uh, I'll just add it down here at the bottom. And you can see we have the file uh, time uh, thing added right here as well, which again, just makes sure that you're not having any caching issues when you're changing the content of your file. So uh, I can just go ahead and upload everything I have now. And um, we have to go to the code just to check and see if it's working properly. And uh, it's quite easy because we'll just search. Okay, so that's located where we want it. So um, 
Another thing we can add, for example, is a folder if we want some images and we don't want to upload them in the WordPress media library. We want them more safe, where, for example, a client wouldn't be able to delete them. Then we can simply make another folder, name it images, and then put them in there so they feel very safe and happy. One last note is you might experience sometimes an add import function here in the uh, child theme uh, file, which adds in the, uh, the parent theme or the original themes uh, style.css file. And uh, as I've learned, that is not the ideal way to add that. It's less efficient and will make your site load more slowly. So uh, the correct way is to use your functions file and use the enqueue style uh, functionality. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please leave a like. And if you want more of these videos, subscribe to my channel right here. See you next time. Bye bye.